So you guys could see, see it right here. It looked a lot worse, but huh, I just could not believe it. Mm. I had my, it was my favorite sweater on. <sighs> now it's a bloody sweater. Okay. I can't even get the blood out. I'm going to try again, but. <sighs> it's my favorite sweater now. I just. <sighs> can't use it. I'm not using it. There's blood all over it and everything. So yeah, May <laughs> was not the best month at all, at all, at all. On top of that, there were literally like <laughs> a bunch of things that I went through and <sighs> I don't want to talk about it right now, but let's just say people... <laughs> People are messed up, you know, but that's a story for another day. <sighs> so I said, I promised that I would have <sighs> mm. I promised that I would have recorded that um video, okay. On that show. Okay. So what I did was. Like I said. I, show, I showed you guys. But I was dealing with this. And on top of that. I was also indecisive about. Whether I wanted to do a. two to three part video on it like with each episode well each each of the last few episodes or one long video and you know post it in parts in series right but I was like like I said just like in my head about it and everything so that's how it was I was already stuck so I'm saying to myself, before I wait another week or two or three or four or whatever, right? Let me go ahead, just include in this video what I had to say, what I had promised to talk about last month, and we'll just go from there. Now, another thing, it literally hit me by surprise. So before I even talk about it, I'm going to mention this. I did not know. Like, even though, like, you guys all know Tyler Perry and everything. So, I'm not even going to explain who Tyler Perry is. Everybody knows Tyler Perry. Come on. Unborn babies know Tyler Perry. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I do watch all of, the, all of the show. Well, most of the shows that he, um... And he created and everything, right? So, one of the ones I was stuck on, and I was really sad that it had, it was done, was Sisters, right? And I was thinking to myself, okay, well, I hope a new season comes out. But I never, like, I don't know if, like, there are people out there that, like, Like diehard fans like that know that knew that there was a new season coming out. I literally did not know. Okay, so to my surprise, 
so to my surprise, when I saw that there was a new season, I literally had to jump. I had to jump, like, literally. Literally, like, I literally, like, jump, like, hey, I have to watch this. I have to watch this. I have to see what this new season is going to, how it's going to start off and what it's going to bring and everything. Because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of cliffhangers, a lot of unanswered questions. Everybody wants to know, you know, with everything. And I must say, like, I literally, literally just finished watching it. Okay. It's like what? It's like one in the morning right now, like almost two, ten, nine to two. Okay. And <laughs> uh, I don't even know how to start. So with the last cliffhanger on season five, I, I don't want to do any spoilers. Okay. So if you haven't watched it, don't even bother listening from this point on. Okay. But I'm talking about the last season going into this new season. So last season, season five. <sighs> man, oh man. Maurice, 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 Maurice. <laughs> Maurice, oh my gosh. This guy is super funny. Like I really like his character in the show, okay? And I'm sure a lot of people love him, okay? Because this guy, even though he's going through his thing, he's still super funny. I'm like, yo, how is this guy so funny? Like, even though he's going through all this, like, I, uh, like, we get it. It's not real, but it's, like, almost, like, you feel like it's real. Like, what they're going through is real. And you're, like, this guy is still making jokes about stuff and being funny. Even though, you know, his life is on the line and all that stuff. Like, it was just ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. But well, he's funny. Everybody loves him. The way that the cliffhanger end, ended, everyone, I'm sure, everyone thought, but at the same time, you're thinking to yourself, with this kind of character, like being the way that he is and everything, I'm sure there's no way they're going to get rid of this character, okay? There's just no way. Because, you know, he's a big character. Not in a literal sense, but like, his persona, like, what he brings to the show, like, it's a, it's a big show, like, yes, sisters, it's all about the, the girls and their friendship and everything that they're going through, but I feel like, you know, he's not best, best, best friends with all of them, just one of them, I still feel like he plays a big role in the show, I don't know how to explain it, but, hmm, so yeah, so, hmm, you know what to say. The way that it ended with, you know, him fighting with Quincy, with Q, towards the end, and him holding, holding um, the gun at him and everything, I'm like, no. Like, seriously. I really hope that, you know, he doesn't get hurt, right? And... <laughs> I really hope that Maurice doesn't get hurt and all that stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, well, there's just no way. There's just no way they could get rid of him, right? Because if you think about it, like I said, like, why would the show be without? Like, yes, um, Danny is still also funny. And you could get some jokes there. But it's like, it's just different with Maurice. <laughs> It's really different. So, when they open up the, the, this um, new season, sorry, that's my speaker. When they open up this new season, and she's finally showing how it played out, how that whole scene played out, you know, both of them fighting over the gun and everything. And it wasn't Maurice. I'm like, yes, I knew that they wasn't going to, you know, do, do the boy like do, do a boy like that, right? <clears throat> they wouldn't like kill him off of the show like there's just no way there's just no way but I literally thought that Q was there but when the cop said that 
it's still breathing and all that stuff. I'm like, ugh. Like, at the same time, I'm, like, relieved because, you know, right, like, um, Calvin was saying, like, hey, that would be a murder charge and all that stuff, regardless if it's, I don't know, um, voluntary, involuntary, whatever, it would still be a charge. So, he, <laughs> when he was saying to him, well, I, I'm glad that, you know, he didn't die and all that stuff, Morris was saying, like, I'm not... <laughs> I, when, when he said, oh, you better be glad as well that he wasn't, that he's in, uh, that he was still breathing and all that stuff. He's like, me? Like, happy about that? Like, heck no. Like, hell no. I'm like, yo, why are you, what are you talking about? Like, you literally will get a charge and just play it off like you literally didn't care about that stuff. But, hmm, that whole thing with, uh, I don't want to mix up the names. Um, give me one second. That whole thing with yeah, so I just looked it up. That whole thing with Aaron, right? And how he's like this perfect guy that every that every woman like dreams of having, right, in their life and everything. <laughs> that whole thing that he did with that mystery girl. That's a bit weird, right? Like, I cannot be the only one. Okay? I'm sure a lot of people are like, there's just no way. Like, this guy's just too perfect. <laughs> even, um... Even her mom, right? It's like, yo, this guy's just too perfect. Even Karen's mom, like, yo, this guy's just too perfect. And all that stuff. So, I'm glad that she's now putting her foot down and saying, hey, you know, I need some space from you and all that stuff. And, you know, like, what's going on with this girl? Like, who is this girl just coming up arguing at my salon and all that stuff? And, man, I don't know what's going to happen over there, but I hope that she literally, like, I don't want her to be alone. But I just, I don't see Aaron as the guy for her, you know? I just don't see it. And <laughs> the whole thing with Danny and Preston, like, <sighs> it's just a sad one. It's really sad. It really, really is sad. Like, I'm... At first, I was thinking, okay, before he said that, whatever stuff about his ex and all that stuff, like, going to marry her if she doesn't say anything to him, like, that type of ultimatum, like, you just don't do that type of stuff, man, like, seriously. Even finding out how Zach had a big part to play and how he was going out with all those different women and all that stuff. Having Danny looking and acting crazy, wondering, like, you know, where all the swag came from and all that stuff. Before she found out it was Zach that was telling him, you know, what to do and everything. It was just like, yo, like, seriously. No, no, that's not you. And then when he finally, like, put his foot down, like, hey, I'm not even gonna continue, you know, to partake. And all this stuff, all these games that you're trying to have me play with and all that stuff. My then it was too late. And then I just feel like from there, it was just a downhill spiral, right? There's just no way. Because if you're going to do her like that, you know, pretend that you, you don't really care and all that stuff. And watch her <laughs> try to go crazy over you and all that stuff. Like, there's just no way. You're just not going to. There's no coming back, right? What else? The... The, um... What else? The whole thing with... Sorry, I'm looking at the names on my, uh, on my phone right now. Andy. So the whole thing with Andy 
and Gary, like, that's a whole other, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just don't see it. I don't see it. I, I don't even want to say anything disrespectful because, you know, at the same, he was thinking one thing. But thinking something else at the same time. So it's like, yeah, go get your stuff. Go do whatever you want to do, right? It's your body. Do what you want want to do with it, right? And at the same time, like, you know, he did X, Y, Z. And you're still turning, like, instead of looking backwards, try to look forward. But at the same time with this other guy, he's... One minute he's sharing, you know, all the stuff with her and... Treating her, you know, a certain kind of way. And then at the same time, turning around and saying really mean things to her. Like, even really nasty things to her. Like, doesn't matter what you did with her in your private time. Like, it doesn't give you the right, you know, to say stuff about her or about her character and stuff like that. You know, just because you slept with her and all that stuff. Like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. So. So he messed it up. He literally messed it up. He messed it up big time. And I feel like that made her want to turn back to Gary and all that stuff. And she probably feels like. Well, if this cheating guy, if this cheater is buying all this stuff, doing all this stuff for her, and regardless how he treated her and all that stuff, he still did a lot of good. But at the same time, trying to go to someone new, thinking that it might be green on the other side, right? And then you found out, like, he's just as bad as the one that, you know, you're cheating with and everything. Then what's the point? That's how I feel, feel like she's thinking. Like, what's the point, you know, of getting someone new if it's going to be the same old, same old, right? But I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't end with them, you know, being together, you know, like, tying and not all that stuff because... Again, I don't see it. <laughs> not with her, not with, not with Danny, and not with Andy. Like uh, I don't know, and not with Karen. Like I don't, I don't even, I don't even know. And then the other show, Zatima and Zach, or Zach and Zatima, or is it? Is it Zatima and Zach or Zach and Zatima? I'm confusing myself here. No, just Zatima, right? Yeah, so just Zatima, okay. So with that show, it's like, also, the way that it was going on over there, I'm like, is it ending already? Like, did it end already? Like, is there a new season coming? Like, I don't even know. And the way that they ended, it's like, almost like on bad terms, but it seemed like they were good in the show. So I'm like... How exactly are they trying to set the scene? Like, hey, is Satima, the show Satima, is that like supposed supposed to be like years? You know, like after sisters? Or is it like, hey, you know, back and forth, like, hey, is this supposed to be before, after? Like, what's going on? Right? Because you just don't know. This is the way that it it plays out on either side, you know, on either show. I'm just like slightly confused. But I guess some of the parts like, yeah, they're still good, but at the same time, are they good? Were they good? Did they end good? like I probably need to go and watch rewatch the last episode because I'm pretty sure she didn't want she wasn't feeling him. She didn't want him to feel her in that way, like, not that way, like, she didn't want him to be all upon her and all that stuff, like, she couldn't handle all that stuff, and then she was all lovey-dovey and everything, 
It looked like they had just finished a session, but I don't... I don't know. I couldn't tell for sure. Hmm. I don't know. It's funny. It's funny. But I do like that. I don't like that he and Karen ended it, but I get it. Like, <sighs> doesn't matter how good you are, how bad you are. If you're with someone that's not for you, that person is not for you. Nothing is going to change, right? So meeting the team and everything. Um, can I say she changed him? I don't know. I don't. I feel like he was always capable of the change, but depending on who you're with, it's like you don't want to make the effort. If um, if I'm making any sense, it's like depending on the person you're with. If you're meant to be with that person, it will just naturally like sometimes without you even noticing that change. That was supposed to happen to better your life. It just happens. It just happens naturally. Like it just comes. It just comes. And I feel like with the team, it's, it was just natural, right? With Karen, on the other hand, it was like, okay, I'm doing all this and you're still with me. Like, do you not want better? Like, do you not want better for me, for yourself? Like, I get it, you know, when you feel like you're in love with someone, it's almost like, okay, I'll put I'll put up with this. I'll put up with that. I'll put up with That's not, I'm not going to say that's not love. Mm. At the same time, I can say that. It's, mm. It is give and take. It is compromising here and there, but you're not going to give up your whole self in the name of, oh, I love this person. Like, no. If that person is doing you dirty, if that person is doing this, doing that, doing this and that, and constantly on and on, like constantly showing you, this is what they want to do with you. That's their sign. That's them saying. That's the flag. The red flag. Hey, red flag. You know, saying, hey, this is me. This is what I'm going to do. And it's not going to change. Or if it does change, it's not going to be a change with you. Right? And that's that's how it played out. Like, as soon as he got with Zatima, it's like, okay, do I really need to cheat anymore? I'm not, I'm not going to make excuses. I'm not making excuses at all, at all, at all, at all, okay? But literally, sometimes when you're with someone, if it's really like a toxic relationship and all that stuff, like, it's just going to be toxic, right? That's just what it is. And then when you meet someone you're meant to be with, Then that feeling, that character. I, I know a lot of people don't think that people can change. And like a lot of people feel like, hey, anyone could change, you know, as long as they set their mind to it. It's a, it's a state of mind. But um, I don't even know how to put this. <laughs> it is a state of mind. Some people are weak-minded. Like some people feel like it just can't change, it can't, cannot happen. It can't do that. But at the same time, mm, like I said, like when you're with someone, it's just, it's different. When you're with someone you're meant to be with, it's different than when you're just with someone, right? But I don't want to go into too much detail of that. I don't want to spend too much time on that one, but... Ah, let's see. What else? I was shocked. When they finally showed this girl, this mystery girl, 
That person always talks about. I was shocked to see her, the way that she looked and everything. And <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what to say. When he said that whole thing about, hey, I'm going to drop her off. And come talk to Danny. Go talk to Danny after. I'm going to drop her, the fiance, off at the hotel and then go back to Danny's and talk to her. Like, and she was all cool. Like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, all in my head, like, what? Like, it's just no way, no way at all. Uh, any other, any other woman <laughs> would have like said that. And then she's like, when she said only a black, only a white woman would say something like that. Like be so trusting and everything. And then <laughs> all that stuff that went down. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't even know what to make of that, that whole situation. He really should not have done that. Like, if you really wanted to be with her, there should have never been any ultimatums, right? Like, hey, be with me or I'm going to marry this girl that I don't really love. What? <laughs> like, who does that? <laughs> who does that? <sighs> oh, my gosh. Mm. mm mm, -mm. Like, I always wanted to talk about everybody and everything, especially with some of the past episodes. You guys know how funny some of, this, how, how funny some of these um, scenes were and all that stuff, you know, past scenes and everything. But, you know, it's a new, it's a new season now. So, we're just going to go ahead and only talk about it this season and if anything comes up from the last season or any prior seasons and anything like that, then we'll talk about it. But we're talking about it, the new season, okay? So, season six, episode one. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. I cannot believe they're in season six right now. Season six. <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> It's the first day of June, 2023. Let's go. <laughs> Happy first. <sighs> May, like I said, like May was just awful. Awful, awful month. I really, really didn't like this. This May, okay? Just, just this one. Hopefully, June... Turns out better, but I'm not even holding my breath, but you guys all know what that means. Like, hey, July, <laughs> July is like right there. It's right there. July is right there. Okay. June is going to just fly by. <sighs> and then July is here. July is, will be right, right there. Waiting. Waiting. <clears throat> Perched in the bush, like waiting to pounce. Like, what's good? What's what? What's good, fam? <laughs> Definitely waiting patiently for July. <sighs> I don't really celebrate my birthday anymore. Like, I don't even know what to do. Like, seriously, should I travel? Should I just go out somewhere? Like, I don't even. No. Mm. But at the same time, I still can't wait for July. Because everybody knows July is the best month. Like, everybody knows that, right? <sighs> it's not even an argument. I'm not even starting to fight or anything. I'm just, like, saying, like, regardless. If I, even if I wasn't born in this month, like, in that month, like, I still would feel like it's a, the best month. Like, everybody, like, literally, like, the whole world stops. Like, hey. Not stop, but you know, yeah, I'm saying, like, you know, like, vacation, um, summer break, and all that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ugh. And everybody always sucks about partying. 
partying in the summer, July and all that stuff. So, mm. 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 try to stretch. Yeah, but in my head, I, I could not believe this. Like, seriously. Mmm. Still have to cut my hair. I know you can't see anything right now. But I still have to cut it. Whew. All right, let's get into this. So, because I, it's been a minute since I even watched this show, I literally have to go back and look to see what the name, <laughs> hold on, hold on one second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, I almost forgot the name. If I did, but wow. So, Melf Manor. Melf Manor. Oh my gosh. Hmm. What was I going to say? So, in episode. Let's see. Episode. I want to say seven. I'm, I'm thinking of the last three episodes that I wanted to talk about. So from the time where... What's his name? Let's see. Will I even know the names? Oh my gosh. This is the last, the last black dude on the show, and black mom. I knew I should have recorded this like a really long time ago, so that this would not ha be happening. Cause it's been so long since I watched that, I feel like I have to go back and watch it again. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. You know what I'm going to do? You know what? I'm just going to pause this. Stop this here. Okay? And do a separate video. So instead of waiting, I'm just going to like post it like right. As soon as this one gets posted up, I'm just going to post up the other one. Like seriously. Because... I feel like I definitely need to rewatch or at least get some scenes down down packed so that way that way I wouldn't be too confused when I'm trying to talk about it because I really need to say like a couple things about it and be done with it like seriously so I'll see you guys in a quick second Okay, right as soon as I'm done, okay? So I'm going to try to put everything together, post everything, and try recording it like a soon, like rewatch it a little bit, get my opinion and everything that I already had planned before. Okay, I cannot believe I didn't write it down or anything. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and write it down everything on that. And yeah, we will see. We'll go from there, okay? So I'll see you guys, like I said, quick second. I'll be right back, okay? So that's it for this one. I'll see you guys, like I said, real soon, real, real soon. <laughs> Blink of the night. Bye. Peace.